Hello viewers, welcome to the channel, welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial, we're going to be building the T84 Oplot M. This is a heavily upgraded T80 of Ukrainian origin. So as far as the build is concerned, I also just copied my T80U from a while ago, and there's really not much left of the original build underneath, so definitely deserving of its own uh, independent video. So let's get into that. So first, place down one place a block, and then row three, dark oak up trapdoors. And behind that, a row of dark first green slabs, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and that'd be eight. Alright, to either side, kind of hard to see here, but we're going to try. Alright, so first, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate to either side of the trapdoors. Place a grindstone off of the trapdoor, oh, sorry, off of the um, gate. We have two polished black stone stairs facing towards each other. And that looks like three grindstones. And then two polished black stone stairs facing towards each other. Now underneath, we're going to need a black block. So fill in all the blocks underneath the grindstones that are visible. We're also going to take dark blue fence gates, place one behind each of the last um, polished blackstone stairs, and then we're going to take Spruce fence gates from the second to the second to last. So once you have that done, all we do now is just put a row of three dark oak signs right in front of the row three trapdoors, and we can continue with the hole. So we need dark crispine slabs, pistons, grab a lectern in there. Alright, so we're going to start out by placing row 3 dark crispine slabs right on top of the row of 3 dark oak up trapdoors. Then row 3 pistons behind that. Then we're going to skip one row of blocks and place down row 3. Green terracotta. Then in front of the green terracotta in this row right here, we're going to place green shuffle boxes to either side, have them sort of placed off the side of it, and in the middle one lectern. So to the sides, we'll place down one end portal frame to each side of the row of slabs. In the very front, with one spruce sign right in front of it, and also in the front. On these uh, slabs, place down an invisible iron frame on each side, with the white stained glass inside. Next, we're going to take a chest, place one behind each of the uh, end portals, frames. And now we're going to take our green terracotta. and build the row back all the way to the last row of dark prismine slabs for the floor. So we're going to fill all this in. Like so. Next we're going to take a polished blackstone stair 
and place one upside down off the middle green terracotta block. And to each side, take mossy cobblestone in the wall. And on the outside blocks, uh, right side up facing dark priest main stair. And place down a dark oak fence gate right behind each of those uh, dark priest main stairs. I'm also going to take a dark oak sign, place it right off the back of the stair. So now we can put in the side armor. So we can start by just placing green panes off the back of the, the, well, the dark priest main stairs. So we'll keep our walls, we'll just need to play red. So for this, we're just going to build the wall. And a per layer head right in front of it. So I think we can debug it since we're not really going to place anything over it, so it won't unbug essentially. Same thing on this head. Okay, now we're going to take our mossy cups, um, our debug stick to our mossy cups wall. So south low in the front. So it connects with the head. Up will be false on all of them actually. West low and the speed east low. And we'll raise all these uh, sides up. Right, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that brief clicking montage. So once you have that done, last thing we need to do with this pane right here is have it connect to the stair. Now we can move on with the hole. I mean with the dirt rather. We finished the hole. So first we can place down a bed right on top of the lectern right there. And at long last we can Deepak these pistons and not have to worry about much of anything, hopefully. And as well, you can, with these chests, uh, try a double chest and rotate it some way. I guess facing north. because the double chest has more surface area so it doesn't look like it has gaps and stuff on the side. Okay. So next that'll be one bed, now another bed. And then a dark priest inside. side. And then another bed right in front of that. Now we'll take our deepak stick right here. Get rid of all the pillows and have them facing like so. Okay, so I wish you luck with that. The only downside of the bed barrel is just the the feet and the muscle breaks can can kind of look stupid, but with, with the slabs it's too kind of too far down really, so that's why I go for it. Like I say, there's a method to my madness here. Alright, next, place down a spruce stair right behind the bed that we just placed with an end portal frame to each side and a green head right in front of each of the portal frames. We're also going to use a, we'll need that as well, but this looks like a dragon head at a 45 degree angle. Like so. And we can use our barriers, place them right there. Place an item frame to the side of each one. And we can take something for the IRCM. Uh, 
I just used the redstone lamps. Place one in each. Okay, I think I got the angle of these heads right. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, I think I did. So, moving on, we're going to place down a row three, green terracotta, another row three, and then it should be just one more block. All right, now for the rest of the shaping, we're going to take a dark oak fence gate. Actually, I'm going to use a dark prismian stair first. I'm just going to place a stair, kind of upside down, right off the side of the first, right off the side of the of green terracotta blocks. I'm going to place down a darker fence gate right behind each one. And now we're going to uh, yeah, we can debug these. Or debug the stair at least. So we just want it to be a inner right like that. Like so. We're going to take our moss cobstone balls, place one to each side of the last block right in the middle. And to each side, it should be just one player or one green head, whatever that is for you, whatever you guys are using. We can debug the gate to go down. All right, moving on. I'm going to take a dark prismian upside down stair, place it right off the middle block, then a dark prismian upside down right, right behind it, and same thing facing towards the front, to the right side. And for this side, we're just going to place down kind of just two player heads on the sides, oh, as well. I forgot about this thing. So, two black wool right there. And we can also debug these, kind of reminds me to do that as well. Alright. Actually, I do, have them, uh, I do have them as up true, so we'll leave that. Okay. So. I'm going to take a bridge fence gate, place one to the left side of the middle dark prismian up slab. And then we're going to place down a, a barrier right behind this green head with a birch sign. And we'll also debug the walls as well. So it should look like that, pretty sure. Yep. All right, so once we have all that done, we move on to the kind of the roof. Roof of the tank here. So we need a few different things. Well, we're gonna start with a redstone repeater, place it right on top of this middle green terracotta block. Place down two more dark oak trap doors right behind it. And facing towards the back on the right side here, a dark oak drop door with an invisible item frame on the front of it, and a wasting glass. Now on the opposite side, we take a daylight sensor and a banner right here. You can see the pattern for the CITV. Right next, we're gonna ruin some debugging here, so bear with me. All right, so facing towards the back on the left side, place down two iron bars. And on the opposite side, let's see if we can place this upside down. 
Yeah, okay. So let's hit that in place. Oh, kind of ruined that debugging, but we'll also take a lever. So if you see towards the back, this will go on the left side. And two dark oak pressure plates right on the upside downstairs. So we can rebug this part. Okay. So kind of lastly, we're going to take a dark oak fence gate, place it right on top of the green head on the side. With an end rod and a chain right in front of it. Okay, chain did not deep undebug the stair. Yeah, that's good. So on the side. I think it's on the side. We need a green terracotta block. It's down a green terracotta block inside an item frame that's placed off to the side, inner side of it. And we're also going to take a wheelie scout skull and place it to the outside of the fence gate. I'm also going to take another invisible end frame with a dragon head right at the back of the gate from the remote control machine gun. So it should look like that. And last but not least, we can finish up the antenna. And of course the super complicated banner right here. There we go. So once we have that done, that should complete our first Ukrainian tank. Hopefully it's going to be more in the future. The T-84 Oblots M. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.